Welcome to the updates. My name is Fozia Abdullahi and my co-host Majid Aldin. So you know how we do it here. We update you from what has been happening this week. So we are starting from political news. Majid, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So the first we have is our president, our handsome president. He has done a statue, a nice statue, Kwame Nkrumah statue. At um, no, statue of himself. Or yes, statue of, Kwame Nkrumah. statue of himself. Like I, I mean, he's also doing like um, um, Kwame Nkrumah. Kwame Nkrumah. Mm. Is it a statue? I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> but when I saw it, I was first of all, you know, when the news came out, it was more of like people were like, it's an AI ordinator or something. I think it was later on that it got trended that people were talking about. It. I think it's because of the 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 work it did there. So you know, when you do something, you want to put your name on it. Yes. Yes. yes so that's that's how he did. Oh, but I don't know why Ghanaians are listening. Me, if I build a house, I'll put my statue or like a name. But I think because he didn't put a name, he put a statue there. But I don't see anything wrong with it. No, you see, the, the reason why I think he had that backlash was more of like, you you are the person doing the work. And you are the, person, the same person praising yourself. So you think Agu Father is praising himself? Yeah, he's praising himself based on the comment that was coming. Because to be frank, even me, myself, my opinion is, if it was... It's region where you you, you come from, mm. the eastern region. Will have it, the statue will have made some sense. If you understand, but western region, and I don't actually see the kind of work they say he has done over there. Oh, yeah, I'm being frank with you. Oh no, me if I do something big like that, I'll put my statue there. Oh, big like what? The road or what? Or the runabout? Oh, I don't even know. Because if 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 oh. If basically, if you watch what uh, like a lot of people were talking about, because after some after two days or three days, when the picture came out, mm. a lot of media stations went there. Yes, you understand. Yes. And it was kind of it didn't it didn't have that positive effect on the country, but right? that is because that is because Akufa Dunangasa. I why are they like Nkofu Mpena some did that? Oh no no, that's no. how I see it. Like people, it's not like people don't like him. People like him a lot. But you see those rich men that build houses. Yes. And they put their statue there. That's that's houses. They put their statue at their house. Ah, but you okay. Understand? Have you seen some of these mocks that when they do some okay? Then why, why don't you do then, then why don't we then put the statue of Kwame Koma at the Temamoto way? Or the statue of Where, where are they going to place it? Ah, there are a lot of places you can you can ah hey. in between the lines. But Majid, what are you saying? Look at some school are there. Some no, schools no, 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 are there. No, no, no. They put the Thank the, the, the founder. Uh, so the schools he has built are nice with him. He can go and put his place. So you feel like this one is special or like I no, feel like it's not like this one is about, special. No, it's easy. It should have been something um like an historical moment about that area. Mm-hmm. You understand? Maybe there's some history about that area that they could have depicted this in the form of statue. And put okay. it there. You okay. It. I mean, that one can serve as a form of education for the young ones over there. <laughs> oh yeah, it's true. So I mean, I kind of like. It doesn't like a good word. But you know, after after some after a while now, now nobody talking about it again, and that's how Ghana is. When the news comes, people will just talk about it. But later, they just so we for us there, we are waiting for the update about that statue. <laughs> I don't know if we are going to remove it or Akufa is going Akufa to... won't say anything about it. He oh, won't remove I'm, it. If I'm, that I'm is sure, what you people want, it no, won't I'm, happen. I'm sure you will order for the statue to be removed. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. You don't know Akufa, though. You have been in Ghana. You don't know Akufa, though. Okay. So, next is the U.S. president, the almighty Donald. <laughs> he elected um, Elon Musk to, um, to lead the Department of Government. But, like... Elon Musk, is, is he like, is he into politics? Uh, you see, for me, when I, when I saw the news, I, it's more of like, you need to understand, like, the people who are behind the scenes when it comes to leaders, you understand? But the situation, is going to Trump has showcased to the world that Elon Musk actually helped him his Help them because it is to his advantage, to Elon's advantage. Of course, in every business, it's to the advantage of 
the other person. The other person, the person but, helping you. So you think this Elon guy like is behind the scenes? Yeah, he's a behind the scenes guy. And for him to actually come out, for him to be appointed like in a governmental position like this, mm. it tells you that America are trying to do something new. Oh, okay. You understand? And looking at Elon Musk known for his mass yeah, testing yeah, yeah. machines and, everything, and stuff. robotics and also having X. Because if you look at when he was appointed, he, he posted something on X that everything that the department will be doing, mm. he is going to be posting it for Americans to see whatever is happening. Like he will give them update. Yeah. You understand? So we too, we are giving our audience the update of Elon Musk being appointed as um, the Chairperson or the board, leader. but some of what some of the now Trump policies, some of them are good. Even though I I, I didn't like the fact that he's been elected, but some of them are good. Like uh, as time are going, because he's saying that like if you if you go to university in America, you have access to green card. Yeah, so you see, basically we the black, the black like coming from Africa, yeah. we we will feel more, we will benefit from it. Hemaji, that green card, it means that you have access to do business there, to stay there, right? Yeah, and it gives you that freedom to be able to move as well. Without maybe, you know, sometimes if you don't have those cards, yes. you kind of feel you like are not even police is passing by, yeah, you, you, you are, are afraid. Shaking, yeah. uh-huh. So that's how it is. Okay. But I mean, I don't, you see, Elon Musk, people say he's a genius. Eh? Yes, he has a bag, like, he has a ancestral background from South Africa. By he's an American. Because I'm seeing like people on Twitter saying that like they should take his US um his US um citizenship since he's saying that this like since he was supporting Donald Trump because yeah. I think the reason why people were following Kamala is because of the fact that she helped it's like she's not fighting against um illegal immigration. immigration. But you get him, I think he is own was about his website. You get that was the reason why he was fighting for Donald Trump. Yeah. But people are also saying that since he has fought for Donald Trump, he's US citizen that they are saying because he's also an um, immigrant. They should yeah, take it from him. They can't take it. Because they can't he, take he it. Has, he, has, he has gained that, 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 that honor of having been an American citizen because. Mm. I'm I'm sure he has an American passport. Yeah, yeah. So and this this is a new position that was created for him by Donald Trump, and I'm sure it's going to actually help America at the long last year. Okay. And so we move on to the next um tre- the next thing that trended within the week, and you know with South Korea and Japan they have this strict rule. Mm-hmm. It's more of like democracy, not democracy. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. So some things are there, you have to be very careful. But Ghana here too is democracy, not democracy. Uh, Ghana there is is full of democracy. <laughs> Ghana there is no democracy. Oh, it's full of because the way Ghana we can voice out. There are some countries who practice democracy, but you can't voice out like that. Mm. Ghana yes, Ghana is like you are practicing democracy, but let's move on. So okay. what we have here is so online streamer John Johnny Somali mm-hmm. faces ten years of prison sentence after a controversial video showed him kissing and posing with a statue dedicated to Korean women who were victims of sexual slavery during Japan's occupation of Korea. So, he's actually having this um, banter or this kind of accusation because, you know, during those days, Korea actually went through a lot. So, Japan colonized Korea, right? Yeah. Okay. That's uh, to, to, for correction, South Korea. Oh, uh, yeah, so, yeah. So, Japan and South Korea went through a lot. And because of that, they honor the people who fought for them to get their freedom. Although though during those days we have the the, the martial arts and all those things, yeah. but Japan was Japan was far advanced during those days. And if if you, if you look at history, Korea gaining freedom mm-hmm. is not even up to thirty years now. Yeah. Yeah. But the kind of development yeah. they've been able to bring to I am telling you. their country, it yeah. tells you that one leadership is working. So this the two that within I think for the past two or three days now, it has been a talk within the country because they feel like the the statue the guy kissed mm-hmm. is somebody they really honor. 
and it's a woman who sacrificed a lot for Korea to gain their independence. But but he's a YouTuber, you guys. Yeah. It's like he doesn't know that like it's it's like it's like a statue you get of a woman or some or yeah, something so like that. Some things are there, you see, within other world you you won't be maybe you won't be accused of doing such a thing. But within a certain world, if you go learn the rules of that world yeah, and sure. be very careful. That's a challenge. You understand? So the ten years in the mean for me I'm sure. If they it's are to go by the rules of their country, they will give in ten years. And to become a diplomatic issue because Maybe mm. the country the guy to it from yes. will also have a say within it. Yeah, because me, I don't, I don't see it, it like I don't see like it deserve the ten years. At least they should make a public like public announcement that this and this is what the statue is saying. You are not supposed to do this to this to this because like this is if this is the first time somebody is going to kiss a statue and you are coming to give him ten years. Why is he not school? <laughs> <laughs> No, but is it? I think the reason why is is they they are trying to make it extreme is their culture. That's that's what I've learned from this thing. They are very particular with their culture, so kissing outside, that kind of you see that kind of African culture where you feel like even if you if you see a statue, go and touch some parts, they feel yeah, like yeah. no, no, it's wrong for you to touch it. Yeah. So I think they are they have that kind of culture. So but at ten years, it's a no no. They should find oh. another way of dealing with it than these ten years because. Oh, so no problem for now. Yeah, we are actually um, hoping they won't give him. But I mean, I think diplomacy will work. In this thing. Yes, yes, it should. Um, it should because. So guys, if any update comes up, we will give you update about this particular case. Yeah. And so what do you have next? So we, I have um, Justice Atuguba. He's saying that the Speaker of Parliament will face ten years. If like it doesn't if um if it de- defies the Supreme Court. So he's saying that the Speaker of Parliament risks ten years jail if it defies Supreme Supreme Court. But my problem is the Speaker of Parliament, I thought like he is a if they say if the president is not there, the um that's the vice president. When the vice president is not there, he's the one, right? Ah, okay, okay, okay. So is it basically I think it's more of like um one, let's start with from this way. You know the issue of the parliament issue mm. with regards to um that's the majority side of a market taking into court with regards to the vacant four seats that the speaker declared to be vacant. So when they went to court, court passed the they passed on the case yeah. that they still stay the execution of those people to come back to parliament to continue their work because mm-hmm. they don't see them Maybe they don't see them like because they say they won't do business with the current party that brought them into yes, parliament. Mm-hmm. So they have to back it there. They don't see anything wrong with that. Mm. So and I to, I think based on what I read, it was more of like um the former justice of Chukuba is actually giving an account of what can be done if somebody divides the ah. order of Supreme Court. Okay. You understand? Because now since after the verdicts, nobody has heard anything from a speaker of parliament. Yes. Nobody has heard anything. And the five against two even results that came out, we actually don't know um how even parliament will continue well, business now. Okay. Get it? Because we, if we if we if you hear from the majority leader, now majority leader, um honorable affair marking, you know it was like it's it's now time for who had to prevail for both parties to make sure mm-hmm. parliament works. I'm talking about the ten years this thing. Mm. You can't you can't run away from Supreme Court order. The Supreme Court because it's the highest of the land. Mm. The Supreme Court tells you that today I've given an order that everybody should sleep. Mm-hmm. Everybody has to sleep. You understand? Yeah. And well you can't you can't just do anything that you want. And that's an order because within the arms of government they are part of the arms of government. And they are the highest ranking of our judiciary. Right, so although speaker has some immunity, yeah, but with regard limitation. to this particular order, you can't go by it. So speaker, we are, we are we are waiting to see what will happen in parliament. So but this won't happen. Oh yeah, it won't happen. But happen. Just, this, you see, people are talking about speaker will not accept mm-hmm. the Supreme Court verdict speaker. And I think that was what made uh, former Justice Atuguba 
say that. You realize that our speaker is very smart. He's yeah, a he's, very he's a lawyer. smart man. Uh-huh. He's a lawyer, so, like, so. none of this will happen. Yeah. But so, for now, we are we are expecting more to happen in Parliament. So yeah, expecting more. Yeah. You like you like what is going on. Oh, it's it's to strengthen our democracy. Mm. And I'm sure our audience watching us to you, a lot of them, like a lot of you guys have um, enjoyed Parliament for some days now. Some people are saying this is a parliament that this is a West Parliament. But I think this is a parliament that have actually strengthened mm. yes, our democracy. It's good. If me, if it has strengthened then it's good. For me I think the executive doesn't get whatever they want easily done. So now there's check and balance. It's like right now everybody is dragging, drag a drag. Yes, yeah. so there's check and balance. So if you want to build hospital and the money you are mentioning is too much, mm-hmm. you bring it to parliament. Parliament will check and balance. Yeah. yeah. yeah I realize that uh-huh. both but, parties are not green. But first it was that high majority, mm-hmm. low minority. So if the majority say yeah, yeah, then they will approve their budget then to go. Mm. Uh-huh. So I think that's that's something we are waiting to see what happens next in parliament. Okay. So what what why is you have? Um, so we are still on political news. Okay. So if you're on political news, so uh, within last I think almost last week, last two weeks, mm-hmm. we had the issue of um one of the presidential candidates for this coming election passing out. Mm-hmm. That's um Madame um Epia Donko, mm-hmm. and the people are contemplating if electoral commission will have to reballot or they will actually remove her from hey, it. Yes. Then we got the news that the party have chosen the vice president yes, candidate to go and stand. Yes. But the same party to brought out that they they don't want to stand again for the presidential election. They disqual so they disqualified the the vice um, president, president um, the vice president who was coming with Ikea Donko. Yes, yes, yes. I believe all of you have representatives in the printing houses. We are almost ninety percent complete with the printing of presidential ballots. And you are also aware that following the passing of Madame Ekwe Adonko, we requested the printing houses to cease printing until you know, the, you know, the law had taken its course. Now that the presidential candidate or the nominee has been disqualified, the commission is to, would like to inform you that the balloting, the printing would proceed on the current ballot as is, in the interest of time and to save this country millions of cities. And so our task here this morning is very simple. We are not here to change positions. We are not here to reballot. We are simply here to inform you that the commission intends to notify our printing houses to proceed with the presidential ballot as is. It will proceed with the ballot that bears the name and the image of the name of the Ghana Freedom Party, their symbol and the image of Madame Ikuya Donko. So, and I, th- I think the reason why they are doing this yeah. is basically about... People get confused, People especially get confused. our mothers, because this one, Bano Akase, Usha, Wu number Seya, because yeah, two my way because Omu you know like the numbers will enclose our yeah. mothers will be confused. And also the reason I think they can't change the ballot is the I think the political parties have already printed yeah. they they printed their ballots based in teaching the people public how to, how to yeah, vote. Yeah, you yeah. have to vote number eight, vote number one, that's what I'm vote saying. Number people 12, will get number thirteen yeah. and all that. It's walk out one, two, three, four, five, five. Uh, what do I say? Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, I have to yes. So I'm sure that's why EC, and I'm sure this decision, although it's basically from the chairperson of the electoral commission, I'm sure there was a, a kind of meeting between the electoral. Yeah, um, it's the best decision. Is is yeah. is for the best. For me, I'm, for I'm, I'm, I'm I'm even happy there was no change of order. <laughs> yeah, because for the best, it will affect many people. Yeah. So up next is um sports news. Yeah, our popular. Yeah, well, Ghana Blasters. Eight <laughs> of them <laughs> eight of them have withdrawn from the upcoming matches. We you remember that there were late, you know, withdrawals as well. So that affected the number. Even on that we would have had all the England based players in the team at this point. But because they withdrew and we had to replace them, we needed to work on 
travel arrangement, uh, change ticketing and change uh, you know flight dates as well, which is why we do not have a full house yet. But the rest of the players will arrive tonight and hopefully tomorrow we shall have uh, 22 players in training. And me, I don't understand why. Like, it's so soon for you to withdraw. And no. looking at the players too, they are, they are so good. Like uh, those withdrawing, me there. But you see, when the, the news was more of like, um, how do I show, how do I, you see now the sports calendar, the football calendar, the matches are played. You understand? And I think the club teams pay more to the players than even the national team. So if the athletes see that oh, I just return from injury mm. and coming for national events and go back again, then if I go back that weekend, I'll still be playing for my club team. So you have some minimum or three days or two days to rest. So these people know, this mm -hmm. club team, so they don't have like, okay, this Premier League or whatever you people call it. Yeah. yeah. They know that there's AFCON. You mm -hmm. get, they know that there's this. So I'm, I'm, like they are supposed to schedule like the time. So you call your players who represent your country to come and play. If in England had eight players declined to come for this international call up, you understand. So it gives you the the attitude that one people are saying the players know that they won't qualify for the Afcon. That's what I'm thinking because I'm also thinking that because since we are not doing well, it's also yeah. spoiling their reputation. Like yes, it's, you understand. Yes, it's spoiling uh -huh. their reputation. Even some some people are that so why do could this come? Some two are arguing that could this will come because he has been suspended for six months. Yes. So he comes to have some yes. fitness and all that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, we but but now twenty two players are in camp right now. I mean, what I'm happy is that the some of the local teams they bring in. Yeah. So but I think that's if they'll get a chance to play. Ah, and I think this is the opportunity to even play, play the local yeah. players for us for Ghanaians to see the quality we have. So the thing is, unless they get the opportunity before, yeah, you know, they'll the, be on the bench. Yeah, the coach will have to make his hey. first eleven. Ah. You understand? And your first eleven then none of them will be among. Oh, if the because there are is, options. Yeah, if you are if the player you play. But some of the local players, some of them are good. Oh yeah, they are very good. You see, the reason why people are even afraid that the local player is good is because our league, our local league mm. is not that strong again. Mm. You know, those days that you have the Dumbotes, the Chastelers. Yeah. That we are producing good local players. But now... Hmm. But it's all good. All Please, they should score. And and the VIP tickets. You buy VIP tickets and you don't... <laughs> they, <laughs> I think they take more than the, the, the amount for the seats at the VIP. That's the country called Ghana. Come on. Next time when we are going, we'll go like four hours before the game. We'll go and sit there. So what's the idea for us again? So up next is entertainment. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hey, but Twitter, Twitter, okay. Oh, yeah, so the Zimbabwe women, like... The Zimbabwe ah. women, the footballers. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Hey, tw hey, Twitter. I don't know why they are like their pictures have triggered some some concerns. I don't know. That what? But they didn't want me to say it. You yeah. say it. You say it. <laughs> <laughs> you say it. Oh, okay. So on X, there there was this kind of um trend that the the women of which country Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. They, the, their pictures, their portraits came out, and they more look like they more look masculine in the pictures. And you see, one is you can if you talk about it more, you be like it's defamatory of character, mm. like you are trying to abuse or oh, body shame, body shame the person. Yeah. But you see, it's not body shaming. You understand? Within the sports that they find themselves in, within Africa, the women who play football are more like. Because of the with the, the lift metals and the kind of training they do, they are more built. They are likely to get that kind of body. Body, you understand. Than the outside world, like Europe, Americans and the Asians. Their women, even if they do that, they don't reach the kind of standard we our women reach, you understand. So for them looking like men doesn't mean they are men. Because within FIFA, FIFA always check everything before you register a player you understand we have doctors who classify players 
Mm. And I don't see why people should be actually talking about it. You see, you understand, women in sports, I'm sorry, in school, I did um, media and gender. And obviously, you can see that, like, because actually, sports were not for women. It was for men. Men, And the like the old times, if they want to attract a sport to like the audience, they put a woman like the first magazine to attract um, sports to the audience. They they placed a woman. That's the olden days with a white bra and a white pants. She was on. She was on like. On the cover of the, the, the f- yes, the magazine you get. Yeah. So it's like when people saw that, they were actually buying the Disney, but the content of the magazine was sports. Okay. So you can see that we women we are not. They didn't do like, they didn't do us to do sports. You get. I get a point. I, I actually get a point. They didn't. They didn't do us. They fix us as, so it's excuse my word like sexualized objects. You get. So so it's like when you are doing sports, nobody regard you, you get. And Majid, if you check, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, like the woman nature, no, the body is not supposed to be like that, you get. So since the body is like that, it's given some extraordinary something. But I as you said, know, it's a sport. With some people when they make that comment, because it did, it's like the way God removed the, the, the spine of a man mm-hmm. to create the woman. Automatically, the woman you also has some characteristics of a man. Yeah, some understand. people have more uh-huh. than some people. So, and you see the way they train. To be frank, if you look at our food, women in football, yes. the way they, they train, they, they train like, like they are men. You understand? And it's not, it's not that it gives them that upper hand when they go outside there to go and play football. It makes them strong to be able to stand the weather. You have understand? you seen the Ghanaian ladies playing? Yeah, yeah even, they play well. Yeah, and there are some, there are some of our women, the black queens. Mm. Some of them. You, you can see this feminine body yeah, within yeah, them, yeah. but, but they are very good. Yes, yes. You understand? And even American national team, some of the players, if you look at them, you can see like this person looks masculine, but he's, a, he's, he's feminine. You understand? Yeah. Because they have classified the person for them to understand that sports is like this. You understand? So I kind of like trolling them within X and talking about all those things. We have to be very careful with what we say. You get it? Because we have to accept each other as one. Not to always try and differentiate. Those were those days. Yeah, we are yeah. in the it's just modern era. One now. way, there are, it, it the was body, body shame. It was just body shame. Yeah, that's see, all. that's today. If you talk about women, they always say you are body shame. For me, I disagree with it, but that's that's what it is. It is what if it you talk is. about women, it means yeah, body shame. Yeah. Yeah. The same way if you talk about a man too, they will say you are body shame. Yeah, yeah. Say it like that. So it is, it is what it is, you understand. But hmm. they are not guys, they are actually women. Just that it looks masculine. Yeah. And so what do you have for us again? Next on my list mm-hmm. is a journalist. Her name is Sally. Okay. <laughs> she reviewed a shocking news wife. Well, no say? wonder why Shatawale <laughs> is always a stone boy. <laughs> <laughs> she said the industry you no. Know, yeah. She and a uh, she and a uh, I don't know. She and her uh, people, they sat down and say they'll be pushing Stoneboy agenda. Why? Oh, wow. Because Shatawale does not respect the traditional media. She said traditional media. Yeah, me met now no as Mamaga. You are caught into caucus meeting for the past three years to push your agenda. Your agenda now you're pushing is because Shatawale doesn't respect the traditional media. And to hear Kokoko say, we will single-handedly take you on the journey. I mean, it's, it's, it's an agenda against Shatawale. Exactly. So I don't know what Stoneboy has done that she has come and fire him and bring out that kind of information. No, but is he, it's, it's more of like, you need to understand what it is. In within every media space, mm-hmm. based on what she said, I now get the point where, if not she been only Shatawale, Samini, Guru dance, mm-hmm. even at them. There was a time they say, you go to media station, they don't play our music. Okay. But they kind of have this particular art, artist there. They like playing them. Playing. So, when I try to come and talk right now, <laughs> you will come and talk. <laughs> People will say, you're talking too much. You will come and talk. Yeah, but for you to come out and say this, kind yes. of thing, it's really bad. She shouldn't have said it. Yes, it doesn't even help. 
the music industry. Yeah, oh my goodness, she shouldn't have said it. And I don't know what, maybe what, I don't, I don't know whatever stone, but she shouldn't have said it because it's like, they will hold whoever went to the music and shut up. They can be disrespectful mm-hmm. sometimes. But I, shut, I, always, I always support shut up. Whatever he says is true. So, so like when I saw that thing, I was like, no wonder why Shatawale is, like, dragging these people because he knows that these people they are sometimes just like the uh, VGM. They will say that okay, this thing belongs to this person, but they will give it to this person. Yeah. Now the thing is all coming yeah. together like this. But is it with, with Shatawale, please Shata, don't come and talk. We beg you. You know, for it has been two days now. You do not talk, so let's leave it like this. Yeah, whatever they said, you let it go. We beg you because if you try to come and talk right now, I'm telling you, the whole of Ghana, he will say things, he will say things we don't want to hear. Yeah, he will. So, so we actually beg you, Shata, don't come and talk. So we end with, um, you know, there are this stone, you know, women like jewelry a lot. Mm. So there was a story that came out within that was yesterday. So we are giving an update of the story that about a gem like diamond. Mm-hmm. That sold for a whopping amount of nine million dollars. That's the world most expensive green stone. Nine million dollars. How much will it be in Ghana today? Like uh, estimates. Okay, so now dollar is seventeen point two. Mm. So seventeen point two. One million will be in Ghana cities. Hey, you can't count. You can't. I can't count. <laughs> it will <Hey>. be trillion. <laughs> Whose stone is that? Who's, is it for is it for it's Queen Diana? Diana? Diana <laughs> it's for Queen Diana. No, I'm I'm not sure it's for Queen Queen Diana. So actually the the auction people mm-hmm. are actually trying to find the, the, the person who bought it. Ah. Because you know during auctions, yeah, yeah. When when you buy certain yes. they don't reveal the they buy, bought yes. it yet. So we're actually waiting to hear ah, to see the person it. who bought it. Yes. Yeah. But the green stone has been sold for a whooping nine million dollars. So actually, that's the most expensive stone ever sold. The green stone, nine million dollars. I don't know how much now you would, you can sell diamond like diamond jewel mm. in Ghana here. Yeah. I'm sure that would be like twenty million dollars. Please, my my birthday, I want a diamond. Thank no, you. I, <laughs> we'll get someone to buy it. I I say from you. I did say oh, someone. Okay, okay, okay. Then sure, I'll buy it for you. <laughs> so. So guys, that's it for um, the update for this week. If this is your first time watching us, kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. This is Majid LD and Fozi Abdullahi. And follow us on Instagram at CCNTV underscore TV underscore TH. See you guys. Bye-bye.